Hello and welcome to the subject of the month for July. This month we're going to take a look at the milk recording report and the way that we've changed it so now that we can look at the deviations based on standard peak production. Can you explain more about standard peak production? Yeah, let's go into the report. So cow's head, milk management, milk recording analysis. Standard peak production is an intelligent tool that enables us to take into account the stage of lactation and the numbers of lactations. And essentially what it does, if we look at a fifth lactation animal, and that animal is 50 days in milk, what you will discover is that the figures are identical. So if we have a look at cow number 172, sitting here, fifth carver, 49 days in milk, what you can see is the production is 50.6 and the SPP is 50.6. Now if we look at the cow above, 171, she's a first carver, 198 days in milk, giving less milk, obviously, and what the program then does is it makes a calculation and takes into account the fact that she's a first carver and that she's well through her lactation. And we can see that the SPP value here is 63.2. So this enables us to compare different animals, different stages of lactations. When you explain it like that, it makes sense. So if a cow is early in lactation, using SPP to show the variation between recordings, it will highlight problem cows so they're easier to find. Exactly. Can you show me some examples? Okay, yes. First of all, what we'll do is we'll just have a look at a cow that's early in lactation. So this is cow number 507, highlighted here. We can see milk production, SPP, but here we see in red, the variation. So let's go and have a look in a bit more detail. Look at the milk recording. So this cow basically on day 19 was producing 54 kilos of milk. On day 47, the second recording, she's producing 53. So she's actually fallen. And you can see there that really shows up on the SPP figures. So it's gone from 60 to 55. So that cow's milk is not going up as quickly as we'd expect. Is it just a strange recording? We can certainly look deeper uh, if we go into the milk meter and we look here. Let's have a look, see what's happening. And go to the graph. Here we see the milk yield and yeah, there was a big drop. So that was on the 15th of May. So she was kind of doing okay and then she really did fall away. She's picked up, but we see she's dropped. So I think there's, uh, yeah, there's some issues going on there. What we'll then do, let's have a look at a cow who's fallen away. We'll have a look at cow number 179. So here she is. Okay, so 37.9, big, big drop in SPP. It's only 39.8. So again, let's go into the cow record. Look at the milk recording. And we can see that to start with, an SPP value of 50, 48. But then on day 78, the milk has really fallen. If I look at it graphically, there's the milk yield going down. And if we look at the SPP, we can see that's really falling away. So after reading in the milk recording, I need to check not just fat, protein, and somatic cell count, but also SPP variations between recordings. Absolutely. I think that's really important. And if anybody would like more information on how to use this report, please call the help desk and we look forward to helping you.